In this video, I'm going to discuss sizing fonts with EMs. Uh, I did go over this in the font sizing video, but this is going to talk about in a little bit more detail and a little bit more slowly, um, just in case you need a little bit more information on them. Now, EMs are used uh, when we are sizing fonts uh, using cascading style sheets. Uh, one of the reasons we use EMs instead of pixels or points, which we're more familiar with, is because EMs are more tailored to each individual font. The word EM, or the term EM, comes from the width the width of the letter M. M is the usually the widest letter uh, in whatever font there is, although it does not look like it on this particular font. Um, and so what using EMs does is it tailors, tailors the width of the font to each individual individual font. That is because each font has a different width for the letter M. And so by using the side EM instead of pixels, pixels are based on your screen and how your screen is interpreting what one pixel is. Here it is actually tailing it for the individual font. So an EM in a for Arial is going to be a little bit different than an EM for Helvetica or Times New Roman. And this is great because it gives designers a more exacting um, a more exacting sizing ability and design for their for their fonts. Now Generally speaking, one EM is equal to 16 pixels. Now this is important to understand because we're used to working with pixels. We're not used to working with EMs. So we always need to know what the target pixel is. So getting started with EMs, we have to keep a couple things in mind. We always have to keep in mind the following. Um, what pixel size do we want for any font size? For our paragraphs, for our H1s, H2s, H3s, lists, list items, um, what font size, what pixel size do we want for any given font size? We always need to have the pixel size in mind. Okay. We're also going to need a calculator. Unless you are capable of doing division on the fly that will result in decimal points, I am not. Uh, you will need a calculator. I use my phone. Okay. So, if we are envisioning, let's say, for our paragraph, a font size, and I know that I want my paragraph to have a font size of I know I want it to have a parag my paragraph to have a font size of 16 pixels. Okay. That is going to mean that I will have I will code it as having one EM. And that is because one 16 pixels is equal to one EM. So this is my target font size right there. And I know that 16 pixels is the same as 1 EM. That's pretty, that's, an e, that's easy. That's the easiest one, if you understand what that is. 
Now we always do math. We always show our math when we're talking about EMs. So here I'm taking my target pixel size and I'm dividing it by what the, what the default pixel size is. It will make sense in a minute. Now let's say that I wanted to have my H1 font size. Okay. Let's say I want that target font size to be, what should I make that? Let's say I want that to be 48 pixels. Okay. My target font size is going to be 48 pixels. It means I want the, the first heading is going to be very large. And so 48 seems like a good number. What I would do to figure out the font size in terms of EMs is I would take my target size, 48, and I would divide that by 16 because that is the default size for all pixels. Um, and then I have to do a little math, because I can't do that in my head. 48 divided by 16 equals 3. So you can see that on there. 3. 48 divided by 16 equals 3. So I would write my font size as 3EM. And I will leave the math in. We we'll always leave math in when we're calculating our font sizes. Uh, because that tells us, or helps us remember what we were thinking when we put 3M, 3EM. If I just left 3EM in there, I would have to do all that calculation again in my head as I'm going through my style sheet. But um, if I have the 48 divided by 16, I know that my target font size was 48. And I know if I wanted to then bump it up, um, I could then bump it up a little bit. Now let's say we actually have a paragraph, um, and we realize that our paragraph, let's say that we decide that our paragraph size, that this is actually too big, that our target size for this is actually going to be 12 pixels instead of 16. 16 is a little bit large, maybe I think. What I will then do, again, is I will go back to my calculator. I'll divide 12 divided by 16, the target font size, divided by the actual default pixel size equals, and that is 0.75 EM. 0.75 EM. And so we can do that. We can have decimal points for our font sizes when we're using EMs. And like I said, it gives us a very exacting kind of number. That will be 0.75 of the width of the letter M for, for um, each individual font. And it can go the other way around. Let's say that I have uh, an H2. And my target size for that is, is going to be 38 pixels. Okay. Oops. It's the target size is 38 pixels. And I know that to get the calculation for my EM, I'm going to divide that by 16. Just like that. So I open up my calculator again. 38 divided by 16 equals Two two point three seven five EM. Okay, and we write that all out. Okay, we write out the entire decimal uh, place. So to summarize, when using EMs, we need to first figure out target font size in terms of pixels in px 
12, 48, 38. That's what we're used to doing. Divide the target font size by 16, because that is the default font size. And then 3, you know, code in the EM font size, EM size, and just to get the EM, code in the EM size, and then four, code in the Mac. The slash asterisk, which is above the eight, and ending with the slash asterisk, that's how you do commenting in style sheets. Just as you did commenting in HTML like that, this is how you comment out and how you leave a little note for yourself. Code in the map using CSS commenting. Oops. So experiment with this a little bit. It takes a little bit of time to get used to. The key is, as I said, you have to determine or figure out your target font size in, in pixels. So 12, 48, 38, 102, whatever you want the size of that font to be. Divide the far, target font size by 16. Uh, use a calculator if you need it. Code in the EM size, 3EM, 0.75EM, 2.375EM. It will be whatever it is based on that target font size. It could just be 1EM if it's 16 divided by 16. And then code in the math. And you are required to have the math for all of your font size calculations. It will help you later on. This is part of our clean coding and effective communication as you are communicating with future versions of yourself. And when you're scrolling through your style sheet, which can get into be the hundreds of lines of code, you want to make sure that you know what you were thinking when you coded 3EM or 2.375EM. What does that mean two months from now? Well, that means that you were thinking about a target PX of 38. If you have questions about this, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.